We are here in Taft right now for episode number one of JRRJ. JRRJ. He is Juno. It's motherfuckers Ricardo. All right, so wait, I just want to say, I just want to talk about what the fuck happened a while ago. We we're trying to make this much better for you guys. We got two cameras going right now. We got this beautiful mic. We have our producer in the background. We had somebody commenting over here. Moral support. Leveling up, man. Okay, a while ago we had this big ass discussion discussion about cameras and the placement and editing. I don't know shit about that, but what I do know is right before it started, right now. Yes, sir. Dino was like, "Hey, man, could you?" Could you lift the camera a bit and tilt it down? And I was like, yeah, because his, cause his I, I don't double chin is showing. Double chin his yeah, double yeah, chin yeah. is showing. And I don't want my forehead to be too shiny. But this reminds me of a time I remember before when we went to the States, we had a tour in the States. And then, we gonna, and then, go, go, so we, ha we had a tour in the States. No, this just reminded me of some time okay. before. We had a tour in the States, and then we were touring LA, San Francisco, different places for the Filipino fans back in the day. And then, Dino had some sort of mishap. He shat. He shat. And there were drippings <laughs> of shit on the white pants. Because it's all white. Everybody, all white. This is the last final, all in this together kind of movement thing. Dino comes out of the bathroom, has shit stains on his white pants. Dino says, Chris, 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 let's wear ma'o. Let's wear ma'o. I was like, what the fuck, dude? You're not prepared, man. You came all the way to the States and you're not prepared. He's like, no, 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 dude. Look at this. And I was like, <laughs> we're all wearing mong. We're all wearing mong. I saved your ass that day, dude. Yeah, yeah. I saved your ass that day. Yeah, yeah. That was a fantastic experience, man. That was hilarious, dude. I can't believe... Like, it's like fucking... I felt like if somebody was watching us at that point in time, people would be laughing their asses off, man. Yeah, 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 that was me. Yeah, I shot my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're, like, uh, did we drink the night before? Of course we did. Yeah. Every night, dude. Yeah, we did while we were there. Illegally right? in America. Yeah. Um, allegedly illegally. Alle allegedly. Allegedly illegally. No, I was already illegal, bro. I, allegedly, I was allegedly drinking in America. I was already underage. They, they were like, yo, Dino, can you buy cigarettes? I was like, no problem. But yeah, I did shit my pants. And it was, uh, it was terrible, man. Because uh, they were like, oh, everybody wear white. Wear white. I'm like, okay. And then, like, I just took a shit, like, just before this number. And, like, you know, like, when you're backstage and everything, everything is, like, all fast and shit. Yeah, and there's so much shit happening. So three, three dances happening going on. And then you have to go on in, like, two minutes and you have to change. Like, this is the other outfit. And you're sweaty as fuck. You're sweaty as fuck. I guess I didn't wipe my foot. That's why. <laughs> <I got. laughs> Dude, that builds character, man. But I have to give it to Chris though because everybody had to wear white. And then <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. we're all wearing mall. We're all wearing, we're all gonna rally the troops. We're all gonna wear, we're wearing mall, man. You know what? That 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 shit, man. That builds character, though, dude. How do you say? Character. No, I don't know, man. Like, it's like, like, like character for you? Or ca no, mobile? character for you because yeah. like, it's like super. Back in the day. Or... Oh, wait, you know what? Recently, somebody I've been impressed with character-wise is Mr. Duterte. From 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 Davao. All right. All right. All right. You know, I, 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 you understand why? Because you can't because I don't know shit. Man. I don't know shit too, man. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what all I know is that he's not running. Uh -huh. Okay. First of all, I think if you want to be the leader of a country, you have to be fucking insane, dude. To have all that responsibility, and if you look into the past, man, every fucking president was blamed all the time. Even, shit. even, even, yeah, even, e yeah, definitely. Even if it wasn't necessarily their fault. Now, I think he understands that what he's doing with what he has will create better people, and from there, that will probably make the country better. Than rather than trying to be the head figure, and you know, you can't really do any change because what, what the fuck is one person gonna do, man? I think one person can just inspire like a bunch of other people to do better, but like. I I don't think na because like isn't Duterte Duterte ba Duterte? Sorry man, isn't he like the guy who like promotes like yeah just kill all these motherfuckers that are bad? I think he he's trying to instill discipline. I mean like he's trying to get it uh -huh. through many different ways. 
mm-hmm. and we're not in his position eh, so like we can't I can't really say if it's right or wrong but the thing that is noticeable is he is effective dude he's fucking effective he's from the south right? he's from Davao dude. Davao but what has he done about it? Like, he just dude I was in Davao for like my birthday I was surprised by you guys. I have, a, ah. I have a wonderful girlfriend over there. Samo Island, what's up? <laughs> Samo Island, one of the most beautiful places oh my God. ever, dude. And okay. we landed in Davao. Mm. Fucking the cleanest fucking place in the Philippines. Clean as fuck. It was weird though. Everybody, every, every, like, yeah, everybody was going like sixty though, and like the highway. Everybody, but everybody was following the rules, man. It's weird to be in the Philippines and see uh, Philippine. Like yeah, everybody yeah, was following yeah, yeah, rules, yeah, man. I get, I get what you mean. I think that like a discipline, that, like, is a no- well. I mean, one of the top problems because like like a while ago, hmm. I'm like I'm driving. You see how stressed I am when I'm yeah, driving. So Obviously, man, you, you, you don't right. fucking drive. I don't like driving. No. So like and, and and like one person makes a wrong move and then the other person behind him is gonna make the same goddamn fucking move. Yeah. And then this is that's just how like I feel like the Philippines is. I mean like you, have, like, all, you have all these people, like, yeah, but the other guy did it. Yeah, it's so like I'm gonna mob mentality. Mob, mob mentality. mentality. People power. If they did it, I could do it too. And <laughs> if you like look at like all of like the weirdest when like that shit happened in the States where like everybody was like stealing in LA like back in the day mm. when, when 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 the they the beat up um, Rodney King Rodney King right the fucking uh, was not the police was not guilty uh, uh, was not guilty and then everybody just rioted yeah everybody rioted I would I if you too, if man. you if you look into the ma- the majority of society man everybody's a good person basically man <laughs> basically we're all good but for some reason when when a group of people starts like Rioting like fucking after La Salle Ateneo games before people like mm. like one person is like and everyone's like Rrr, Rrr, Rrr. like they just it, it just apparently it creates some sort of like union between their minds that they're not really conscious of what's happening but since other human they're beings are doing it like their their morals shift like right uh, right right that moment. Parang sheep, right? Yeah, like sheep. Like parang I don't know, man. In that situation, would. I wouldn't know. I've never been in like in a mob type situation, but I don't know if I would join into the the chaos or like stop or like, like what, what, what do you think you would do, dude? If like shit went down, example, you were walking on and then like big a riot started happening, fuck the police and shit were just people were just breaking shit. What would what would your first reaction be? Okay. Well, one side of me would be like, I'm gonna go into a store and I'm gonna f- I'm fucking steal all the fucking TVs and stereos. Uh-huh. But like, wouldn't I? J- then I would also be thinking, would I? Wouldn't I just be one of, like, one of those people judged as a hooligan, taking advantage of a situation and rioting, and like, not even like joining the people who are actually rioting for a cause, and just mm. being one of the stupid motherfuckers just stealing shit. So I think I would be one of the stupid motherfuckers. Because <laughs> <laughs> like we're all joined. Like, this, like I remember high school, man. You know, fights go down, shits just happening. You see your friends doing it. You don't know what the fuck's going on, but you start throwing for no fucking reason. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, it's like, I mean, like, of course, before we were less mature, but in now, like right now, even though like you say, oh, I've learned my lesson. I'm an older guy. But if uh-huh. like somebody like, if you see like your teacher who you who you who you know and respect, just fucking flip, ah, would you be like, yeah, yeah! I trust him. <laughs> well, yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but like. Discipline in the Philippines, though. I, I it's a fucking problem. Dude. I think it would take more than like one man, and obviously the politics. You have senators and blah blah blah, blah and all that, and all that shit. But but like, I, what would it take? Do you think? Do you think like a martial law type situation I, would be worth I it? I think we should start like small, like because I, I believe it's it's with the with the people. Can you just stay there? <laughs> there, I believe it's with the with the people, man. I I think we've we've gone through so much that we just don't care anymore. We've reached a point like, ah, oh, fuck it, whatever. Like, for example, like, um, McDonald's. You go to McDonald's here, or you go to Jollibee, or whatever, or a fucking joint. How hard is it, how hard is it to put your shit on the tray, go to the trash bin mm. right over there, where mm. it says, place your trash here, mm. and just put your trash But there. nobody does that, no? Nobody does that. I don't that. do that either. I See, but, 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 because, like, no one does it. 
It's like, oh, well, whatever. Is it, somebody's cleaning up after you? I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, like, don't you want to like have a like like clean as you go? I mean, like, if if, well, I mean, yeah, you you're a fucking slob. Like, <laughs> I was gonna be like, don't you just like don't you clean your dishes? Don't you? <laughs> no, I mates. That's why we. That's why I think some people are are like. Just because they're just used to people. Yeah, probably that's true. Because even I see that I, I see that with myself. Because because e- even like middle class people, even like uh, uh, lower class middle people have maids. Mm. Everybody has maids in this country. Yeah. So like it's like ah oh, whatever. Somebody's gonna clean. Somebody's gonna clean. It's it. somebody's it's job, job to clean. To do it. Yeah, but like for example, like cleaning up. Like people don't get paid that much, man. If you're a fucking garbage dude or or you clean shit in the states mm-hmm. you get paid a lot because nobody wants to do that shit no one wants to do that shit so you get paid a lot you get paid a lot to do it here's like uh uh-uh. i still get paid shit and i have to clean up after people's shit so i think if people just like were like hey man you know what I'm gonna make it easier for the other guy. I'm gonna make his day easier. And you know what? Maybe I should clean up after myself because I don't want to be a disgusting human being. Well, that's a good. I think like like what you said about like have making the other person's day a bit easier. I think yeah. That's. I think looking at it that way now, I might I might start I might uh-huh. start cleaning up after myself. <laughs> and yeah, man. Like for example, like because uh, because we both we were both born in the states, right? Yeah, but, but like but. I didn't. I, I moved here like when I was three, dude. So yeah. basically, don't know so like, shit about the states. Uh, what my mom, what my mom taught me was like, uh, oh, you have, you have, you have your hands, you have your legs, you have your feet. Mm. If you can walk there and get your shit, then get your shit. If you can do this, then do it. Why wait for someone else to do it for you? Well, nobody because else does it for them. It's, it's. I think it's in the way the system is in place, like. In the states, no, but there's no maids, dude. If you, if you're a slob, like, it, it really if you, shows. If you have maids, you're rich as fuck. Yeah, exactly. But you know what's weird? If you're rich here, then you're really rich. For example, you buy a Louis Vuitton, mm. and then a tax here is higher than it is over there. You know what I mean? Like cars here are more expensive in a way than it is over there. And sometimes some people buy their cars from different countries, bring it over here, and then they get taxed more as probably just as much as the car. So if you have that, then you pr- you know, if you're rich, you're you're rich, for real. That's how I say like well, com- when I when I when I'm comparing shit, man. Because well, in the states, I think they like, allow people to be very materialistic because everybody I everybody like owes money. I, I don't I don't think that like the debt problem, the credit card problem, is as bad here in the Philippines as it is in the states. That's why everybody has something in the states because they just charge it. But everybody's actually in debt. Yeah. It's not. It's not like here. Like I don't really hear my friends saying, "Napara, oh, I just got out of college. I have to fucking pay this debt." The, the, like, there's not. The, that doesn't I happen have, here. I have a friend in the states. He's fucking like, like 33. He's still paying his college loan. Yeah, exactly. So like, it's it's also fucked up in a certain. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I'll go to college so I can make money, and now um, I'm out of college, and I don't I don't even have that job that that I went to college for, and now I'll have to pay for that, and they're stuck. Do they all talk like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard, dude. I don't want to go to the States anymore. Dude. Everybody, like, yeah, have a sleep when they're talking. Yeah, but the shit in the States is, is retarded, man. Shit in the States is, well, from an outsider point shit of view. Shit in the States is, I, th- every, I think all places are retarded. And Yeah, but, like, from an outsider point of view. I mean, uh, well, from a point so of view of somebody who has been to both places. Like, for example, oh. um... Uh, I lived with my uncle and he's white. He's white. He's like Italian white from Buffalo, New York. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then my tita, obviously Filipina. And then, you know, like, and then li- I lived with my cousin. And it's just how other, like, when you live in white suburbia, it's like some white people don't see what other colored people like because I consider myself like I call it Filipino mm. brown we're brown oh. we're brown like uh, we we go and it's Asians and, bl- and black people and all that but we we go through like different stuff it's like somewhat somehow a little bit more difficult than it is for the average white person I have an example of that man when me and my mom used to travel to the States I had my blue passport. Mm. My mom has her Filipino passport. Mm-hmm. 
in almost every <laughs> single airport that we went to, American go, oh, you're fine, you're yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, you always have a wife. I love before. my <laughs> And then my mom, my mom, pat and check every time, check your bag, open the baggage, everything, every single fucking airport, just because she had a Filipino passport. passport. They did that to her there. Other fucking thing I read about America, you know Caitlyn Jenner, right? Bruce Jenner before. Yeah. Okay. So right before he transformed into this Beautiful voluptuous bar- vixen, bar- this butterfly, butterfly after his meno- his menopause stage. <laughs> 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 All right. Turned so into a Pokemon first. Yes. <laughs> he looks like a Pokemon. Um, so before that happened, he hit a car, and inside that car was an old lady. Now he hit the car in such a way that that car traveled into the intersection and got hit by another car. I know. Okay, this is a story and they, they don't read it. That's not, but this is not top news in America, no? Oh. It's not, it's not, right? The old lady dies. What the fuck? Okay, Bruce okay. Jenner went, Kate, sorry, Caitlyn Jenner went to fucking... Isn't that manslaughter? It, no, it's 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 like yeah, it's like manslaughter. Yeah, it's and you, you didn't intend. Then, but you but she it. got off the case in, in in the states. He or she? Whatever. When he was he. When he was a he and a she. But still, shouldn't there have been some sort of punishment for that? Like, I mean, like something, man. Just because, like, imagine if imagine if somebody else did it. Uh huh. Imagine, just imagine in America, somebody else did that. Wouldn't it be like a big fucking like oh reckless driving yeah. blah blah Asian guy no, doesn't know how to drive. drive yeah man ain't that a bitch um but that's that's it's just white people being oblivious to shit. so fuck like, they have they have it easy honestly like they have it easy you know mm. they have it easy I I can I can look white I can do you know I can talk white whatever mm. but like I can hang out with them and everything but like. They don't see and they don't go through what other people go through. Like, for example, great fucking example, man. Great fucking example about, like, how that white guy shot up, like, that fucking theater in Colorado. And okay. there was a white guy who was like, oh, no, mental health. Mental health. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? And, like, every other fucking white guy that shot it up. It's a like, mental health problem uh, yeah. for some But reason. if it's a black guy, oh, gang okay, related. Gang okay. oh, related. Oh, oh, he's black. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> Oh, he's was Mexican. he wearing red? He was wearing red, wasn't he? Had he had tattoos and shit. <laughs> he didn't believe in God. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's unfair. It's really unfair. But you know what, man? Like, uh, it's like that Halsey song. Halsey? Halsey. This is the new Americana. You know, like, we're gonna, like, it's like in South Park also. Every, everything's just gonna emerge and, like, we're all gonna be just adding and shit. this one language of, Me- of, of Spanish and, and, and English and, like, else and I have a western and eastern accent and we're all brown light skinned brown you think too much man <laughs> so what are you what are you busy with what is your what are you doing lately what, 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 like, what are these gigs plug those gigs man to the thousands of people millions of people <laughs> watching out there November uh, we'll have a gig tomorrow for Privé uh, what, is it, what is it what is this gig uh, it's at Privé Wednesday night I'll be with Franco Zarate luxury clubbing Privé Oh yeah, so, do this. Makes me Super depends on how fast you edit this though. <laughs> if it, so or yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh you were there yesterday. Oh, yeah, it was crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, uh November twenty one, uh Cosmic Ground. We have um international DJs and I'm just lucky enough to be part of this glorious course. Congregation of souls. So when you go out, you know, are the same people there think. all the time, <laughs> or, or or do you see new people all the time? Um, I think if you go to this one big giant place, it's called Vault. <laughs> we want to go to Vault G. Uh, <laughs> Shit, man! <laughs> Damn, dude! Thank God nobody said that to me ever. I was just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What is wrong with you? Valkyrie. And then say the whole word. You probably don't know how to spell Valkyrie. Tara, let's go make clubbing, clubbing over there. I don't know who speaks like that. But anyways, all these rich kids are raised by, raised by their fucking maids all speak Konya like. That's why I all sound like that. But I, I but was raised by my maids, you asshole. <laughs> 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 you asshole. 
No, I love Valkyrie, man. Oh, okay, so what is this? What is this game? No, what's, hap- what's happening tomorrow? Uh, you didn't answer my question. Same face, have different faces. From Zarate, DJ, I'll be MCing, MC Dizzy. I will be MC Dizzy tomorrow at Privé. But uh, on November 21, a Cosmic Ground, check it out. Uh, Dash Berlin will be there, EC Twins, and many, many more. Nick Stampy is going to be there, Kid Wolf. So we got local and international DJs, and I'm. Kid Wolf, the white rapper from the States? I think it's yes, about Yellow, Yellow Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> different, different adjectives. <laughs> Yeah, man. I'm pretty excited for that event. I'm just, you know, because we have that Sagata trip. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're about to do a podcast with Sagata! Man. But I, I'm just worried because I really need to go down to the gig. I don't want to miss the fucking gig. So, check out my Facebook page, uh, MC, m.c.spacedz, or facebook.com MC Dizzy official. Okay. For all the updates. But before you do that, uh-huh. you're yeah. gonna be in Sagada. Yeah. And you're you've never been there. No? I've never been there. Stop I talking. Th- stop on the camera. I'm over here. Look, uh-huh. look at the mask. I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> man, you've never been in Sagada, man. It's a different fucking place, dude. It's like another, another fucking country, man. I'm telling you, one of the songs. When are you gonna release your CD? Plug, plug it one more time. Uh, I'm gonna release uh, this uh, <laughs> single. It's called Watch Me. It's me and Marks and. V R X X X Marks Motorola He produced the thing uh, And I made my own lyrics And we're releasing it Very very soon this month So dude What I, what I, what I want to fucking do is You better shoot one of those fucking music videos Up in Sagada Yes It'd be fantastic Oh my god I'll have this one idea for a music video Just like I just wanna have like uh, Let's say for example for example, Childish Gambino, uh, Telegraph Ave by Lloyd. Yes. In the video, like, I believe they were in Kauai. And it was with Janae. And, like, they just show how, like, how fucking. Who is Janae? Janae Aiko, bro. Is this a. What is she? Is Sa- she uh, sailed out, sold out her albums. No. Uh, she was with Drake on July. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey. fuck. Um, what is Janae on? She's got a lot of shit. Jene Aiko? J. J. H. No, 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 never mind. Uh, supposed to be with Omari and Chris Brown. No, man. Eat my booty She's like groceries. Oh, that's her. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> Alright. Yes. Okay. We need more people like her, man. Actually, there, there's an artist, right, Rafi? Uh, her name is uh, June Marizi. She's a local artist and she has a lovely, lovely voice, man. I'm just trying to work my way, maybe somehow like I can work with her maybe in the future and shit. Cause she's got like that really, really nice vibe about her. Here she's in the She's here, she's a local artist, man. And and uh, I I think I, 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 I saw her page somewhere. I think my friend Jim P, one of my producers for my album, The Bakery, produced by Jim P. Yeah, they are. Uh, he, I think he showed me a page of June Marie's and like she's like, she's out there like s- I think somewhere in the south or something some, mm-hmm. like some, one of the islands. Alabang? No, 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 The deep south. The deep south. <laughs> All right. The, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I uh, and then she's like there living on a farm and shit, and then she's just like immersing herself in that vibe. Like making music and shit. And make music there. Man, and they come back into the city and shit and share what she learned in the in the jungle and shit. Pretty, pretty intense shit, man. Depends on what the fuck kind of music she comes no, out she with. No, she makes beautiful shit, man. She What's made a with song some with uh, RBTO. Some Check out RBTO. He, he's uh, from Futures, uh, People's Future, also. It's a group here. They all, they all grew up here in Taft, man. Here yeah. in Taft, man. Taylor, Tori, Lorenzo, Wad. Dude, can we talk about... We were here the other night on a, on a happy Thursday. Oh, my God. <laughs> on a happy Thursday. And the, and the heat... From the steam of the movement of, of the, children, of the hormones, pheromones, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit, uh, juices. Wait, I'm gonna stop you there, Rafi. How, <laughs> how many minutes are we on? How many minutes are we on? Uh, 25. 25 wow. minutes. That's a, that's a fucking fast conversation, dude. So anyway, the in fucking tough, dude. So first we went to where did we go? Barn. 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 Fucking! It was like a fucking barn without animals. <laughs> you hooing? Sorry, sorry, <laughs> Five seconds. What a Malaysia! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, man. This is like looking at this is like, God damn it! 
just remembering all the you know, dumb, stupid shit that you, you that know, we've done in the past. What, what I, I regret is not going to barn and the beach when I lived here in Taft. Cause I lived right there, like no, I lived, I lived in this fucking building, man. And it was it was Burgundy, and now it's Story Lorenzo too. Like, I'm, man, and I didn't know, and I didn't know about barn. Lasting friends, by the No, cause I would just be in my fucking room, just blazing in it. <laughs> 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 I sound like such an old guy. <laughs> <laughs> I am an old guy. It's only a five. five. Going a five. No, yeah, and then I and then I moved over there down Estrada, and then it was ghetto as fuck. Uh, there was a like there, there was a, there were people fighting and like, like some stuff, and people were just stabbing each other. Yeah, it was pretty intense. But yeah, I I, I wish I knew about barn and beach, and then I probably would have gotten more poon. <laughs> man, but you've been in college, like, like, you, like, like <laughs> fuck, man. Wild, when I was, yeah, dude, when I met you, you were, like, in college, and then I was in college, you're still in college, and now we're not in college. Going back to college again, no, man. No, 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 no. I'm not going back to college. I'm, I'm, I'm studying music. You're just, like, just like hanging out and then, like, the old guy. Oh, my God. No, you know what's even s- sadder, if sadder is a word? For sure sadder is oh, a word. Right. That there are people, that there were people there that were older than me. Oh, that freaked me out. I'm like, dude, I just passed. Five. It's your, you see your future. Now fuck that, <laughs> fuck that, dude. No. no, no, I can't let that happen to me, man. That's why this music shit has to, has to happen. You know, man, what's crazy though, man, is because the whole the whole system in place for education is fucked up eh? because they put you through fucking grade school to high school where basically you're in a fucking jail system I, I was brought up in yeah. the Sal Green Hills all boys school all the people I know are from all girls school St. Paul, Poveda, Assumption all boys school, Ateneo, Savior, girls school, Ika all of them are from these segregated fucking when I say jail type system, you have to line up, you have to put your hands forward, you have to have a certain distance from the other guy. Uh-huh. Like it's like it's such a jail type system, man. And then they then they, they fucking make you fucking study from seven in the morning to three forty in the afternoon with like really, really short ass lunch breaks. And then they you're this fucking crazy testosterone filled dick hard man in class. <laughs> it's like fuck this shit. And then the moment you fucking graduate, man. And you're set out here in the real world where another class is fucking three streets away and you have to pass bars and your friends and one bucket turns into two buckets turns into let's go over there let's do this over here and it's a fucking terrible fucking system in place man they should just first of all allow people to why why are we fucking forcing people to study for so long dude it's not like you know everything I fucking learned in high school or grade school I'm retaining now and I need. You know it's fucked up. Like so, I went to CSB, right? And oh. then and then I studied at SDA. Um, and yeah, and it, it took me a pretty long time to fucking like to like pass like a fucking. I think I, I, I was supposed to graduate within three years. I was in college for six years. That's a pretty long time for a fucking three year course, dude. And, and you didn't graduate. And I didn't graduate. And I didn't graduate. And, 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 and the thing is because by the time that I wanted to shift, because like we were acting. Uh, we're acting like, so like I would have to cut my fucking like class, classes to like down to two instead of like taking like six or like how, or like just filling up my whole fucking schedule of classes and just graduating as fast as I can. But no, yeah, but why would, why would you want to do that? I mean like, the college is like you're let loose into this world of freedom. fun and freedom and it's not that hard I mean like you have to pass a class but if you fail a class you fail the class and your parents have to pay more money but you don't really feel that shit so you're just out here like a fucking animal but, but I paid for my classes there's a point where I was like dad enough like, yeah, but I'm, I'm a, you're but the exception to the rule because Maybe not everybody pays for their own shit. And even if you and even if you say you didn't, you, like you still didn't graduate. You, you were paying half for your own shit, and when you and, and right. you're like, oh, better to go out and, and like do no, other but stuff. Like, because I wanted to shift the film. Like after a while taking MMA, I was like, Jesus Christ, this shit's hard. I know. I believe that like college is like it's just a like getting a diploma is like getting a receipt for doing like for actually doing something. Like you can't do this for a certain time, but. I believe uh, people put too much faith in, in, in a piece of paper. 
You know what I mean? Like, because there are some kids out there that like don't even like they don't they don't like they got their idea from college and then like just stepped out and like I'm gonna I already know what I want to fucking do and then just did shit greater than all the other fucking kids that are still stuck in school. I, I, okay, I understand that, but because when you go through a systematic way of learning and doing things, you understand the system, and then when you're put into places of uncomfortability, you 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 like you know yourself more, and you and you and you have to and then you rise to the occasion. Because the thing was, you know, like okay, you're in one course and you take the and you take all these classes to get to a certain point where you have to, you're gonna do what you you're, you're, you're meant to do. They wanted me to take all these other fucking classes that have nothing to do with film. But that's how college is, dude. Okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna stop you there because our producer over here wants to say something. What's up, Rafi? We're good. Are we we're still good? We're still good? Yeah. Is there a technical difficulty? <laughs> you just wanted to give us a thumbs up? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, earlier it cut, but it's all good again. Okay, okay. So I think we've done like 25, 26. Still good. So what happened? Earlier, so like you missed two minutes, but it's okay. It's okay, that's why we got two cameras. Ah! Yeah. But it's still the same frame, so that's good. That's good. So I, I, just, I just felt like you know, like the school just wanted the money. But it's a fucking business, of course, they want the fucking money. What the fuck do you think that I'm a business? If they wanted to teach, they would have opened a free teaching school, dude. But that's what that's what was about. Oh yeah, and Jesus was about <laughs> forgiveness and shit like that. What the fuck are Catholics doing now, dude? Raping little children! <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked oh, up, man. These rape cases are just getting like brushed off the shoulder in the back. Did you know, did you know, did you know that the <coughs> Vatican... Okay, and for the millions out there watching, you can check this. The Vatican owns the, own the, large, the largest... Gay bathhouse in Rome. Don't believe us? Google that shit. Google it. Google it. If you, if you ang- have any uh, uh, anger issues, you can, you can send me a you message. Can pause and Google. Google. And then come back and then play. Which is kind of fucked up, man. Imagine more. They've had that gay bathhouse for forever. Not saying there's anything wrong about gay bathhouses, but isn't one of the things in Catholic religion is Just don't be gay. Don't be gay or you shall be stoned. Yeah. Ah, a man can't lay with another man and oh, all that. Oh, and he shit. should be stoned. There's that. It's like, can you be a priest or a pastor if you're gay? And like, but you have gay pastors and you have gay priests and shit. But but, but like, that's it's, it's accepted by society. That's but the way it's supposed to be. I think like. To a certain point, you have to understand that the fucking whatever rules they made don't really apply now, dude. No, dude. Like the reason why there's so many fucking dumbass rules in the Bible, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like there's like don't eat shellfish and shit like that. You can't wear you can't wear different like uh, uh, uh the, like, like cloth. You can't wear cloth, cloth and then like if, if it's cotton, like, suede. If is co- yeah, and if you then you're not matching. Jesus will be mad. Yep. Jesus only wore one robe, one style. Belt maybe Ooh, like that. Yes, Mr. Producer. <laughs> <laughs> but you have all these stupid fucking young kids, like the millennials. I'm gender lazy, dude. I think, <laughs> dude, I, I really think that each generation that comes after us are are smarter, and they have yeah. a better sense of of like what's actually right and wrong. I think like if you compare our grandparents and how racist they are and then our uh-huh. parents and how like they have some issues How less racist they are Less racist they are <laughs> and we're just like We're all the same race like like it came to we're a point where like e- we're just meshed together and like, like Para internet is the great equalizer where everybody has the same information and nobody's getting boxed out of information except in China Because they're trying to steal that from the Philippines fuck China In Korea! North Korea that is <laughs> 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 We're just bashing countries, dude. Nah, 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 nah. Um, I just think like this this book shouldn't dictate how our life should be because especially uh, like it's just it's just like this. Okay, I'm just talking from my standpoint and how I've observed these things. Because I I went to a Christian school, I also went to a Catholic school, and the states and everything. I memorized Bible verses when I was younger and shit. You know what I mean? But. Sometimes there are people out there that that just judge other people 
like by knowing like just one verse like they know just one bible verse but like they act like they don't they haven't even read the entire bible well yeah, yeah they pick and choose what they want so like i think that's like unfair like if you read the bible you can see how like contradicting it is also you know what i mean snakes not- don't talk dude <laughs> <laughs> what, did you watch that one podcast and when they say like the, the burning bush was probably like DMT or yeah it was an Akasha bush mm. yeah, it's very strong in, in DMT and I would always made I always made jokes about like oh no it was just a big bush weed bro <laughs> <laughs> and he's high and pro- yeah probably when you uh, when you are high you're like uh, hey man don't touch my girl. <laughs> Respect your mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna chisel it down in some rock and share it with my friends. I'm gonna post it up in my room next to my Bob Marley poster. And I, I I it's just like um how I I just I just hate and hate hate is such a strong word. I just this dislike very very much dislike how people act so self righteous. Like you were saying, like uh, like how people think they they're good, but mm-hmm. everybody thinks they're good. Yeah. In their own sense. Yeah. Like you have like. Uh, yeah, all the most e- like, well not all, but most of the evil people that we perceive, good. yeah, in the world, or, are, or, think or, 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 or for the betterment of the human race. If if you're the type of person that says I'm going to do this bad thing and it makes me feel good, there's something wrong with you Indeed. because yeah. normal people don't feel like that. Guys, if you feel like that, there's something fucking wrong with you. Get checked. Okay. Unless you like to choke and spank in bed and no, okay. Okay. no. Stop. We're trying to send a message here, Dino. Different podcast. All right. But I, I, it's just like if I think if you uh, if you put your beliefs like before like what you think is actually right, and what think feels that, right, yeah, then yeah. I think there's a problem. You know what I mean? Like I don't think some girl in the Middle East somewhere should be stoned by her father and the rest of the community for committing adultery. Like I, I'm not saying adultery is 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 is, is perfectly all right, but the thing is, like, you know what I mean? It's a choice. It's, it's sometimes we're like we're just human, man. We all make mistakes, and like you know, like you have this one woman, and she's just locked up, and like and like she doesn't see her husband for months and months on end, and she's probably being like you know she's probably battered or whatever. Mm-hmm. Maybe she's going through a hard fucking time, and maybe like some guy passed by and showed her like some love, some affection, some attention, some good, good loving, and like just had like. A shoulder for her to lean on and like you know someone to listen and then like you know one thing led to another but I don't think somebody should go through yeah it's too, it's too intense stoning stone. somebody to death is pretty like, intense for, for, say, for anything s- saying like uh, cause I watched that video and it's pretty fucked up man saying, see I don't watch those videos man I think I think I think like when I think like when you watch like really fucked up shit it, it like kind of leaves an imprint on you uh-huh. and I, I I'm very I, I, I think it's very easy for things to get imprinted in my personality uh-huh. And so, like, I, I I try to not watch things that are fucked up because I I eventually try to think the parang I ra- I ra- try to rationalize what's going on, uh-huh. and then like maybe my thought process might change because of that one thing. Uh-huh. So like I try to like uh, keep it all peace, love, happiness, it's like, joy, it's like, colorful like rainbows. When you, when you go to one area, it's like, so do you think you're an extremist? No, of course not. So who here thinks like uh, a woman should get stoned for committing adultery? And then everybody raises their hand, and they all think they're not extremists. But well, to them, I guess. Yeah, not. and like, and I, I, I don't believe that, that like how some, some people who are like, because I, I've had friends who turned into like born again Christians mm-hmm. and shit, and like, they say, and then once they turn, the, into that, they're like, oh, everything that you do is wrong. They're like, Dino, stop, stop working at the club. You're, you're in the devil's playground. What you, everything, if you're not doing anything in the name of God, then it's for the devil. I mean, like, what the fuck that's are you talking? That's a bit too much. So I mean, like, um, I think there's a fine line between like trying to like be part of something that's good or like being part of a cult. Because honestly, like, if if you look at El Shaddai and English and Cristo, and then Christians, Catholics, Opus Dei, and all, of them, it's the same fucking god, dude, that they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's just like groups. It's just like it's just a different fan club. Mm. You know what I mean? I was like. I, we all like Spider-Man, but I like spectacular Spider-Man. No, I like amazing Spider-Man. No, I like sensational Spider-Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, if ganda na lang. And to think all the gods have one superpower lang. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, if, 
if 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 you're hurting other people, then I just I just stop right there. Yeah. Like, if you can you can eat ass for all I care. You know, you can get fucking pubes to floss your teeth. I don't give a fuck. Just know? don't fuck with other people. Just don't fuck with other people, man. That's a you good. That's I mean? a good. That's a good message. You can wear a burka burka, and if you like wearing the, like a burka whatever whatever. Yeah, Durka mean, shirka burka. Durka burka shawarma. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you actually like it, then cool, you know, whatever. And then if you want to wear like a two-piece of like, say, sure, whatever. I don't care. As long Just let people do what they want to do. Let people do what they want to do, man. As long as you're not hurting anyone. You know what I mean? You know what? Then, yeah. And try to like, just be kind. Let's be, be kind. Be gentle. Just be kind. Yeah, be gentle. Why are you people that want to do bad things? I mean, whenever I did something bad, it was also, it's always because like, I felt like in a bad space and time where like I was like I, was, I felt shitty. That's why I felt like doing something shitty. So if you just like spread like good vibes, good vibes then talagang you you that's all you're gonna be feeling. And that's all you're gonna be living talaga. So is that a good point to end podcast? Wait, oh, good vibes. Well, good spread vibes. Good vibes. Make it good vibes. Huh? But we're at forty-five already. Oh damn. Okay, forty-five minutes. That flies. Shit. Yeah. I really wanted to... Alright. Next right. podcast. Next right. podcast. Just, yeah, man. I just believe if you spread good vibes and just get everybody on the same frequency and just be kind, be gentle. Because, like, everybody's going through, like, a shitty... Somebody might be going through a shitty day and that's the reason why someone's cranky. But just be like, hey, man, it's cool. Yeah. And it feels good to do nice things, man. It feels good to try it. It does, man. Try it. This is... Try smiling. When you walk down the street and someone passes you, but just smile. Like... Hi, right, good day. People don't do that here. I know. Yeah. Just spread good vibes. <laughs> JRRJ, this is episode vibes. one. Spread it. Episode one. Growing, showing it, drinking it, smoking it, living it, loving it, speaking it. I am Ricardo. I am Juno. And this is Juno Ricardo's recorded journal, episode one. Nice, man. <laughs>